July is the best season for planting. All preparations should be completed before that. Old rubber trees should be removed from the area to be planted. Coconut trees and other trees present in the area, if any, may be allowed to grow on a limited scale. Trees like teak and manjium may be grown in a line outside the planting rows along the boundary of the estate. Care should be taken to ensure that these trees do not affect the growth of the rubber trees. Suitable system of lining should be adopted according to the lie of the land. In level or slightly slopy areas, square or rectangular planting system may be adopted. For healthy growth and higher yield, not more than 500 plants should be planted in one hectare. In square planting, the distance between plants and that between the row is 4.6 meters. 479 plants can be planted in one hectare under this system. If planting is done in rectangular system, distance between the plants should be 3.4 meters and that between the rows 6.7 meters. In this spacing, 445 plants can be planted in one hectare. In rectangular planting, the lines should be oriented east-west to intercept maximum sunlight to the plants. A long cord with planting distances marked on it may be used for lining. Longest straight boundary running north to south would be the most convenient baseline. The planting points should be marked on this line. Rows should be marked towards the east-west at 90 degrees from the pegs fixed at the southern and northern ends. Planting points should be marked in the whole area in this manner. In steep lands, contour lining may be adopted. Distance between plants should be 3.4 meters and that between the rows should be 6.7 meters. For this, a baseline is marked at average slope. Guide pegs are driven on this baseline at intervals of 6.7 meters to mark the planting rows. Contour lines can be marked on both sides of the baseline by using a road tracer. Planting points can be marked on the contour lines. A triangular wooden frame with its legs at the required planting distance and fixed with the spirit level or plumb line can also be used to mark the planting points. According to the gradient of land, the contours will converge or diverge. If the contours come too close, stop the lining there and start immediate contours where the rows become too wide. After lining, contour terraces should be taken on slope areas for preventing soil erosion. 
If it is not possible to make planting terraces before planting, it should be completed immediately after planting. The terraces should have a width of 1.5 meter. Terracing can be done with the help of machine. To conserve the running water, the terrace should have an inward slope of 30 cm. Steps of uncut earth should be left out at intervals to check lateral flow of water. Terraces slow down the flow of water and facilitate infiltration and prevent soil erosion. Contoured terraces with stone pitched retaining walls will also prevent soil erosion. For proper drainage, drains are to be cut and the existing waterways to be cleared. Now, pits may be dug for planting. The pits should be of 75 cm length, breadth and depth. The size of the pits varies with nature of the soil. In loose soil, the size of the pit is just to accommodate the planting material. The fertile topsoil should be placed on one side and subsoil on the other side. Mechanized pitting is less expensive. Filling the pit should be done with topsoil after removing stones and roots. As the pit should be filled to about 5 cm above ground level. A peg may be placed in the center of the pit to locate the position later.